The Ministry of Interior and National Government has begun a nationwide crackdown on counterfeit alcoholic drinks and drugs ahead of the festive season. Interior Principal Secretary Raymond Omolo says the crackdown follows increased cases of illicit alcohol and drug consumption. The exercise seeks to help the government to protect the youth from the effects of alcohol and drugs. The exercise, which is being coordinated by the Ministry of Interior and National Government, will involve the National Police Service and the National Authority for the campaign against alcohol and drug abuse. Michelle Macau now reports. The Ministry of Interior has launched a countrywide crackdown on illicit alcohol and drugs while protecting licensed and legitimate businesses trading in alcoholic beverages. And I remember... Principal Secretary for Internal Security and National Administration, Dr. Raymond Omolo, chaired a consultative meeting with the relevant state agencies on upscaling the fight against illicit alcohol and drugs, where he launched a multi-agency crackdown on the sale and consumption of illicit liquor. The exercise, which is being coordinated by the Ministry of Interior and National Government, will involve the National Police Service and the National Authority for the campaign against alcohol and drug abuse into the festive seasons we have uh, Christmas coming up and then of course the new year and there is expectation that there will be a spike in the increase of substance abuse and uh, hence the need for the various teams that are convening here today to come up with the measures and the me mechanisms of ensuring that uh, we have this under control while at the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development during a consultation meeting ahead of the exercise, Dr. Omolo said that the crackdown is timely as the country traditionally experiences a surge in consumption of illicit alcohol and drugs during the festive season. If we have facilities that operate uh, as uh, spaces for selling the, the alcohol, they are properly licensed, uh, the measures on quality control are in place, that uh, whatever alcohol that is being sold, whatever uh, drugs, whether it's tobacco, meet the requirements uh, of the law. And uh, this is not to make it difficult for businessmen who are involved in, 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 the, in this trade. County governments have been challenged to effectively play their constitutional role in liquor licensing and drug control. Yes. And Bwana IG, there is already a lot of effort that is going towards uh, controlling this so that uh, those who operate uh, premises that sell alcohol and also play music are doing so in designated areas so that we keep this away from the residences for a better and harmonious society. The Inspector General of Police Service, Jafet Kome, warned that his officers will adopt a zero tolerance on drinking driving during the festive period. Drivers tend to drink and drive. I caution those along our, our areas. Nobody, nobody, we are not going to allow drunkenness and driving. Speeding, we are not going to allow that as a mission. That excitement which is seen in the month of December, <coughs> then we start having accidents all over. Last night, last night, even it, last even it, last even we lost nine lives. The directive comes days after President William Ruto announced plans to enhance the fight against the production, consumption, and sale of illicit alcohol drugs. <laughs> For Hope TV Newswatch, I'm Michelle Macau.